Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. And tonight we're going to be going ahead and doing a head shave with the Timeless Bronze Open Comb. Anyways, so of course the razor is the Bronze Open Comb with the scalloped head. Um, if you're one of my normal viewers, you saw the unboxing and you saw this the last one where I did my face. Uh, absolutely beautiful razor nice weight to it um, it's not slip slippy when your hands are wet just absolutely great the blade in it is an Astra SP in its second shape the brush is going to be my razor rock 24 millimeter plus soft synthetic the soap is going to be Captain's Choice North. Earlier, the weather's starting to cool out here. I was outside. Um, breeze picked up. And I just, for some reason, just flashed back to when I was a kid. Um, I grew up in a mountain town. And I remember, you know, being up around, when we'd be up around the trees, how it would smell this time of year. And I kind of got missing that so that's why I went with the north it's got a real piney mm, piney scent juniper berry in it I just absolutely love the scent of this Captain's Choice North and of course we will be lathering in the timeless blue lather ball plastic ain't got to worry about breaking it this thing has absolutely wonderful ridges that just, I mean, get whips up a lather quick. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and shave the face. Uh, cut away, shave the face, come back, we'll do the head, and then we'll move on to the post from there. Anyways, see you all in three, two, one, now. Hey guys, as you can probably tell that this little section was filmed after the video was recorded. Anyways, I just want to go ahead and I forgot to mention in the head shave, um, happy Labor Day to all of you. And uh, hope you all have a safe, happy Labor Day. Anyhow, I also yesterday was looking at my um, channel and my subscriber numbers shot up by four. I'm up to 61 subscribers. Um, the two that I absolutely know of is um, a new YouTuber, a lady YouTuber. Um, her name is Jill and her YouTube channel is called She Shaves with Jill. Um, go ahead, check her out. She's pretty, uh, got some pretty cool stuff. Her, her first video was pretty cool. Um, secondly, the second person, and if I get your name wrong, I apologize. My um, technology, since I am blind, um, I have to use voiceover on my phone. But that person is from India, and their name is Sabai Azaji Sarka. Anyhow, if I got your name wrong, I apologize. Um, the third one, I have no idea who it is, but the fourth one, I've got a sneak and hunch. I asked him if he was a new subscriber because he commented on the video. I might be right, I might be wrong, but it is Flash Boredom. If you're not a subscriber Flash, then, you know, hey, it was cool you commented. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I'll let you all return back to the video. I'm back. Anyways, guys. Um... The first shave, the last shave I did, um, I had a little bit of irritation on my neck in a few spots, a little bit up on my cheeks. Um, not so much this time, you know. It's it's I mean, it's a heavy razor, guys. I'm I'm getting used to it. 
Um, it's pretty easy to hit the angle, but if you're not used to that kind of weight, which I think it's actually a little heavier than the um, Rockwell Success, I could be wrong, um, or it could just be brand new razor, and I'm you know, and I'm I'm kind of you know perfecting perfecting my technique with it, but I mean. Baby butt smooth here and here. My upper lip, a little bit. I could have buffed a little more here, but no big deal. Um, down here, I'm actually cleaner down here than I was the first time. So, got that. Um, so, yeah. Um, really, really happy with that face shape. Anyways, so I'll go ahead and wet the dome. And we'll go ahead and start. Um, thank you guys for your comments on the um, last two videos, the unboxing and the um, pardon me, and the face shape. Uh, appreciate that. It's just, I really enjoy the razor. I really, really do. One moment, guys. That was my girlfriend. She's heading out to drive for Uber. Um, so, I got the kid. He's sound asleep. Um, she's going out to drive for the bar crowd with Bart to drive the bar crowd. So. Timeless bowl. I might be able to get my girlfriend into DE shaving. She's been interested in it. But she's got some issues with her shoulders and arms. So, uh, working a brush just does not seem like something she would want to do. But I showed her, you know, I told her with the bowl she could pick out soap and I could go ahead and make a nice thick lather. I showed her what kind of lather I can whip up in this in this timeless bowl and she's like, yeah, I'd need a lather like that. So anyways, we'll go with the grain first. We'll do two passes on the dome. My friend Christian, while he was out here, he brought out a razor that it was a super speed, and you know it was a super speed. But, and my friend Christian, like me, he's blind. And he's the only one in his household that, what, shaves? And, um, he had, what well, he thought was a 40 super speed. Because he cleaned it up the best he could. And, uh, residual slickness on this captain's choice is pretty decent. But um, he cleaned it up the best he could. And, mom and stepdad they're like yeah yeah it looks good it looks good 
and I told him where to find the date code and his folks look couldn't find it and the person he got it from was one of those kind of people that not real careful on storing their stuff so the guy just years ago threw it in a box threw a bunch of other stuff in the box and stuck it away in his garage or closet or whatever. It was a friend of his, his folks, of my friend Christian's folks. So it had soap scum that had been on it for years and the doors didn't open and close right and his stepdad got looking at it and he's like well it's bent so he bent the safety bars back going against the grain and uh he's like here you go and it was having issues with the doors opening and closing they had like stick going part way up um, I got looking at it I'm like dude this razor I don't think it's a 40 super speed and he's all no why not and I said because it looks just like this one I know I'd seen the 51 Super Speed before. And it's all, this looks like my 40s. And I'm like, yeah, it does. So I don't think it is a 40s. Because it looks just like my 51. Had my story screwed up there, guys. Sorry about that. So. I took the razor. And I did a cleaning on it and a brush that I find works really really good for cleaning razors is grab it This one right here, it's a canine toothbrush, has a wider end here, wider set of bristles, and a smaller set of bristles. So, got a thing of hot soapy water, soaked his, his razor in it, went ahead, worked it with my brush. Turned out, it had date code of W1, first quarter of 1951. And then my girlfriend, she took my needle, apparently on those pliers of mine, and she ever so gently tweaked the safety bars back. We put a blade in it, so she had sat there, tweak them, and, you know, take the blade out, tweak them, and put the blade in, check. And, and when she got done, everything looked straight, and I got a message from him yesterday and he's all I can't stop shaving with this razor it's the third day it's the third time in a row I've used it I love it so it was good to make him or straighten out his razor one moment guys that as you can see nice BBS folks BBS did it with the grain pass, did it against the grain pass. And that is absolutely, absolutely, as Chris Bailey would say, this part of my head is definitely a level cue ball. Very, very, very happy with that. Very impressed with that. That's probably one of the best shaving DEs so far. Um, yeah. I really like that. I mean, nothing left behind. So, I'm going to wet the back here. And we'll go ahead and finish it up.
Carl Kiefer. Um, every year he does an Arco August thing. And he likes to give away Arco sticks. Um, which is cool. I've never tried Arco. Um, didn't know he was doing that. And I'll get in on it next year. Uh, unless if I have Arco by then. I probably will, so, you know. Um, but he sent this one gentleman. Took him up on his offer. And, uh, you know, and I didn't know about the thing until just his last video. And basically the gentleman, very, very generous, kind, snipe, piv, whatever you want to call it. Ended up sending Carl a box with, I can't remember, it was a lot of samples. And Carl was saying like each sample looked like he could probably get easily two or three shaves out of each sample. Ghost Town Barber, Declaration, Viking, Katie's Bubbles, um, Bear Stern Man, I believe, was in there. Uh, yeah, Bear Stern Man Rome was in there. Um, I just, Carl was blown away, and I can see why. I mean, it was just such a generous, generous piff. Um, you know, all for all over, you know, all for a stick of arc, all because of a stick of Arco and with the grain on the back of the head going from the top down. I don't know if you can hear it. It just, this razor just peels through the whiskers. Um, but, uh, Carl was very, very happy and some really, really just it just shows how you know, some people in this hobby is you know, as far as picking out stuff you know, just sending people stuff I mean, got a couple of guys who's basically hit me hard with some really nice piffs and um, and you know huge piffs like that you just you're like you think god you know um how can I return the favor <laughs> you know um but you know they don't do it because they feel they have to. They do it because they want to. No. You know, and just guys, I don't know, either den gets too heavy or, or, you know, like a certain viewer that's hooked me up. Say, hey, you know, I want to help your channel. Another uh, year, one way. But another viewer that hooked me up, and you guys know who you are. He went ahead and He said, hey, you know, I uh, saw your unboxing video, and, you know, and made me, made me want to contribute to your channel, and it's a box with a bunch of razors, I mean, of all vintage razors, mostly Gillette's, 
Was there any? There was an Apollo in there, an Apollo slant. Um, anything else? Other? No, it was all Gillette, except one. And I was just like, oh, wow, you know? Uh, how do I repay this? You know, and he didn't, he didn't do it because he expected something back. He did it because, you know, it was out of the kindness of his own heart, so... So things like that and when they happen to me or I see it happen to others, uh, it's like, wow, that's really, really awesome. Um, when I first introduced myself on Shave the Man, I had three different guys. Um, one guy sent me a full, complete, ah, castle. Forbes, that was another another one that was in that box to call. But uh you know, one guy sent me a all in ninety percent full to have a Castle Forbes lavender shave cream. So I fell in love with that stuff. I gotta get more. some blades and another guy sent me a half full container of bear strand man Latha and some blades and another gentleman sent me a completely untouched a ounce container of Katie's Bubbles uh, barbershop set. Sapona, da Baba, something like that. You know? Didn't send me blades, but I mean, he didn't need to. He didn't need to send me, you know, none of those guys need to send me anything. So, you know. When guys in this community do things like that for others, it's it's pretty cool. It's really, really pretty cool. So Alrighty. This right here. Um, this timeless is easy to get around the ears too. Um, it really is. It's pretty efficient around the ears too. There we go. Missed a spot right there. So. So uh, yeah, there's some pretty cool dudes, pretty cool dudes in this in this hobby, and some pretty cool ladies too. I know there's some of you out there. You know, do not have Adam's apples, which is really cool. To have a, you know, when ladies get into this. Anyways, so yeah, that's the back of my head. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off, and I'll see you back here for the post. Christian, this is for you. Anyways, my friend Christian, he went ahead because sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just like, you know, clapping. <laughs> uh, and he gives me a hard time about it. So, you know. But anyways, yeah. Everything's good. Front's nice, as you can see. The back, nice and smooth. Absolutely zero complaints about the shave. Yeah.
Um, this shade is better than the last, so I imagine that they're just going to get better from here on out with that razor. Um, my thoughts on the gear. The razor, well, it's obvious. It's an amazing razor. It's absolutely wonderful. I have no reason to knock it at this time. Um, and I don't really foresee any reason to unless, I don't know, unless maybe there's a blade I got that just don't get along, that just don't work in it. That's the only thing I could think. Um, because I just, you know, everybody's going to have a bad shave once in a while, so who knows, maybe in the future I might have a bad shave with it. But so far, no, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So, uh, the brush, Razor Rock 24mm Plus Soft, in the barber handle, absolutely wonderful brush. Um, the soap, Captain's Choice North, love that star. Mm. It's a great soap if you um, are in the if you're hankering for you know a pine forest scent. Uh, the timeless lather ball, absolutely well worth the twelve bucks. In fact, you know I think they could probably charge more. Shh, don't tell them I said that. Uh, but I think they could charge more and probably go ahead and sell them just as as quick as they you know just as. Um, regularly as they're selling them now because it's just it's an absolutely awesome bowl um, glad it's my first true lather bowl um, the blade Astra SP one of my favorite blades I don't gotta say no more um, so let's go ahead and move on to the post Dickinson's Witch Hazel which I'm getting low I gotta look around at my local local grocery stores and find out which one here sells it because I like it a little bit of a little bit of a tingle not quite as bad as it was the last time last time because I kind of wasn't paying attention and kind of got lost in the shave and ended up kind of digging in a little bit on the back of my head didn't didn't break skin oh as you can see no weepers creepers neck nicks cuts nothing um and i do find that i stay smoother longer with this razor than i do um other de's you know what i haven't used it in a while Let's go with a little bit of Nivea cooling balm. Yeah, I can definitely say my girlfriend Cindy. She's she's great when it comes to this hobby with me. Um, you know, she lets me get away. <laughs> lets, lets me get away with you know, eyeing more expensive stuff, and she just kind of you know lets me go, let me do my thing, provide it that. I don't want to take over the rest of the house, um, at least not take over the rest of the house with her knowing, uh, <laughs> but um, I love you Cindy if you watch this, anyhow, where is the aftershave, hang on guys, go find my aftershave. There it is. And the aftershave, figured since Captain's Choice North is kind of a green soap, or green scent, I was going to go with a green scent aftershave. Brute Green. Original Brute Green. Well, I don't know if it's the original scent, but it's the Brute Green. Get you 
Whatever it is. Mm, not too bad. Anyways, guys, that is the shape. Oh, yeah, last time in the last video, I had like six days growth. This time I had two, but yeah, last one, if you saw the last one, you saw how quick it went through that six days worth of growth. It was like nothing. Anyways, so that's the video. I hope you all enjoyed this head shave. Thank you for joining me. If you're still with me, thanks. Um, likes, comments, descriptions, and go for it. Um, always welcome. Ever need to reach me via email? Just Lance59 at gmail.com. All lowercase, no spaces. That's the shave. Y'all have a good one, and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.